Hi, this is another practice video and another imitation game. Uh, this imitation game is going to be focusing on the top three fingerings of basic scale. If that doesn't mean anything to you yet, then you need to go watch the basic scale video and see what that means. Uh, you might also want to watch the first imitation game also, which is about the lower fingerings on basic scale. This is focusing on the higher fingerings. All right. Quick review of the rules. I am going to be playing short patterns based on the top three fingerings, <clears throat> excuse me, of basic scale. So fingerings four, five, and six. Four, five, and six. That means throughout this game, the bottom three holes are going to be uncovered. So continue to use your right hand to help balance the flute and your fingers of the other fingers of your right hand can just be how the least distance they need to be above the holes for them to be vented so that they're not interfering with the game. As always, I'm using a medium A flute by Colin Peterson. And as always for these videos, this is just raw, unprocessed fruit, flute, <laughs> flute sound, not fruit sound flute sound, whatever's uh, coming out of the flute and going into the iPad. All right. Again, I'm going to sit down so that you cannot see my fingers. The idea is for your ear to be associating the sound you're hearing with particular fingerings on the flute. All right. So good posture, good breathing, relaxed handling of the flute, Make sure that those holes that need to be covered are fully covered. But again, you don't need to be squeezing the flute for that to happen. Just make sure you feel the full ring of the hole under your, the finger pad. All right, here we go. Remember again, we're talking about fingerings four, five, and six. Okay. Here's an easy one to start. I'll tell you that I'm starting on fingering four and again, we are going to start with conjunct motion. That means that I will just go to the very next fingering on one side or the other. Starting on four. Your turn. If you played four, five, six, you're right on target. All right, now for the first part of the game, all movement will be conjunct, meaning it will go to the very next fingering available in the scale. So if you hear six, you know the next one has to be five. But if you hear five, it might go to four or it might go to six. All right, here we go. I'm going to start on six for this one. Your turn. Number two. And number three. Good. All right. For the next four patterns, again, it will be three note patterns, but I'm not going to tell you which fingering I'm starting on. You have to trust your ear to let your fingers know what to do. Here we go. Here's the first one. Number two. Number three. And number four. Good. 
you need to take a little break, hit the pause button. If you need to review any of those, go right ahead. All right, for the next patterns, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. I will not announce what note I'm starting on. The patterns will be anywhere from three to five notes long, but I won't tell you ahead of time how long. And you might hear some skips. That means that we might go directly from fingering six to fingering four, or from fingering four to fingering six. Those are the two skips that we have available from the fingerings that we're working on today. All right, here we go. Here's pattern number one. Pattern number two. Good, did you catch the skip there? Here's pattern number three. Here's pattern number four. Give your shoulders a little shake. Make sure everything is feeling nice and relaxed. It's easy for us to tense up a little bit when we're trying to listen real hard and repeat something back. Sometimes we start to get nervous about it. So if you need to, take a little break. If you need to go back and review any of those, feel free. All right, for the last four, we're going to make it a little bit more challenging still. Still three to five note patterns. Still the same three fingerings involved. There still might be skips, but this time I'm going to go a little faster. So your ear has to work more quickly to hear what's going on. Here we go. Pattern one. Good, listen carefully. This one's a little longer. three. And number four. Right. Good job. If you need to review any of those, go right ahead. If you're enjoying these imitation games, this is the third one I've posted now. If you're enjoying these, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button and I'll keep doing more of them. I find th things like this to be very, very useful for building the connection between our ears and our fingers because eventually you start playing these flutes long enough, melodies are going to start going off in your head and you want to be able to play them right away instead of having to wonder, oh, what am I hearing up there? And exercises like this really start to develop the connection between what we're hearing and what we feel in our fingers while we're playing. So I find them very helpful. You can always come back and review these again. Uh, find some way to get with your friends. If you have another family member that's in the house with you right now and you can play these games together, that's great. Zoom works really well for playing games like this. Skype can work really well for playing games like this. So check out all the tech options we have uh, and work with your friends and play these games together and see if, uh, if you find it helpful over time. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you again soon.